All right, welcome back to Operation Pixel. I'm back to trying this again. No, no, see, like I told you, there's... Okay, so, so there's a little bit of bullcrap you have to do first here. All right, so before you do that, just back out of here. Just stay in this room. Put away your book for a second. Uh, do you remember when we were in the, uh, the storage room behind the kitchen? Yes. And you had to check the floor first? Are you, are you serious? I have to look at that thing? Yeah, a little skid mark there. Oh, there's scratch marks on the floor, like someone's been dragged across it. I wonder if maybe there's a secret door in the place where there was obviously a secret door. I had to look at that first. See, there it goes. Alright, now I know why you said we had to deal with some bullcrap. Yeah. No, I knew you wouldn't like that. No. Oh, hey, the, the drawing. Oh, hey. Sun first, right? Uh, well, the sun was on top. Jump in the sun pit? Um, I don't know. With spikes coming out of it? Hold on. Let's go for it. it. Said take the path that was dry. Yes, I don't know. Oh, I guess those are ladders, not spikes. They look like spikes. They looked a little bit like spikes. What was next, Moon? Uh, yeah. And then Spike Ball. Let me see. I have I have my doodle here. I did Sun, a, Moon, and Spike Ball. I did a sketch. Yeah, I guess it's Sun, Moon, Star, basically. Spike Ball. It's a, it's a mi whoa. Oh hey, hey, that's the thing in the chapel. Pretty oh, much. Oh, this is the Similar. real chapel. It looks like an altar. It still looks like an altar. <laughs> uh. All right. Oh, a floor. A dagger. I finally have a weapon. You know, a dagger. Oh. Oh, are you freaking serious? Dagger in it. Uh-oh. That was not what we wanted to happen there. Dude, the re-deads are scarier in Zelda. <laughs> they are pretty scary. Things that scream and then, like, face hump your your head. Yep. From the back. It's like a skull frick from behind. It's like the, the old uh, alien face huggers. Yeah. They, like, hump your face and impregnate you. <laughs> Gross. Disturbing, though. All right, so we gotta Which figure out what to do about I this guy. I think I'm just gonna try and run out. It's probably a good idea. Jennifer has not been known for her combat skills. No, I mean she pushed a scissor man. The music's down. Yep. I guess the zombie can't leave the room. That's pretty cool. Next was Moon. Jennifer, uh, hurry up. I I mean again, I don't know if it's like an order thing to him. It was just sun it on top, like and then moon and star below. Well, you can give it a try, though. This is the only thing I can think of. Yeah, we don't know what else to do with a dagger. Maybe you had to find the dagger first. Maybe. It's a deep shaft. I'll go down backwards down it. I sure hope this isn't a bad idea. I can hear water at the bottom. Uh-oh. It's not the dry path. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, fart. That was gross. Yeah, it is pretty mean. Okay, so yeah, I'm pretty sure it's... Do you hear the sounds? I'm pretty sure the sun is good. The other two are the bad ones. Like, it's letting you know. Well, I went on the sun. Yeah. I got a dagger. The sun was your good stuff. You needed the dagger. I don't know what for, but that was the path you've shaken, taken. Bleh. So the other ones will just kill me? Probably. <sighs> okay. Uh, okay. Do I gotta find Scissor Man now and stab him with the ceremonial dagger? Uh, I don't think so, but... Uh... Oh, oh, hold on. There was stuff about here, about the occult. Yeah. Uh, it also said you could put your candle into that thing on his desk. Wait, who, who what now? The, uh... See, he's got like a candlestick holder thing on his desk. You can put your candle there. The thing that looks like every candlestick ever in the game. Yes. That looks like it already has one in there that but I would not think it's of. specifically because the... Uh, oh my god! It's because the, she just commented that the uh, fireplace was dark. The problem is that since the uh, cameraman was dead, he didn't give you matches. Now I don't think you can light it, so I don't know if that helps you at all. Maybe there's some flames? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh that's not um, a panic mode thing. What's going on here? 
Blood. Um, what? What? What indeed? Now loading the dead end? Are you serious? <laughs> it always now loads the dead end. It's pretty bogus. I thought I did something, man. Yeah, no, I was kind of excited. What did I get eaten I... by? I don't know. Chimney monster? I guess. Uh, but hold on. My god. Garbage! So I saw that, but, uh... Should I get out of here, then? Uh, I'm trying to think of what to do next. Should I take a picture of it and then read it in, the, in like, some dark room? <laughs> I don't know. You can try. I don't even have the camera. What? Why don't you have the camera? I don't think it's a usable thing. Oh. I mean, maybe. Okay. Well, <sighs> uh, let's see. Because I still see something about talking about going to the fountain room and friggin' trap door and stuff, but we don't know anything about that. Head's falling off. Whose head's falling off? Mine. Oh. That's pretty cool. God dang it, Scissor Man. Uh. I'm gonna hmm. whip my head back and forth. It's gonna fall off because I'm irritated. Uh, I'm still not sure. What the hell to do? Yeah. Because we've fallen, followed some of this stuff pretty well here, I think. But, uh. Like, the next part basically says, make your way to the fountain room, where Professor Barton is or was. Uh, it says, now that you know about the trap door... Which I don't. Like, we can't do it with Scissorman here anyways. I know, but I can't get rid of him! He's gonna have to use a suicide door again, I guess. I don't like doing that. I feel yeah. like I'm gonna fall every single time. I know, it's pretty bogus. <laughs> we fell out of that door a lot. I died a lot ago. from that door. Yeah. It is not a fun door. Panic mode! Panic mode! Do not fall! Rebecca! Jed! Jennifer! <laughs> I don't know what to Re tell you, man. Rebecca Jennifer! <laughs> uh, no, try going to the garden thing again. Rebitifer. I mean, you may as well try the garden. I see something apparently I never saw before. Um, yeah, I don't know. Try, try examining the fountain and the stuff and the thing. Let's see. Hmm. All I know is he chopped a tree down here. Yeah. Are you freaking serious? What? I thought I saw a clicky here. Oh, no. That would have been pretty ridiculous. Uh, so we know about the fountain. Uh, and then on the right side, you can see a little stone plate thing. Try the tree. Maybe maybe the tree, not directly the plate. Hey, Barton's not here. Uh... This, see if that does if this works, I'm going to be so pissed. What's this? Are you serious? There is something shiny under the tree. It looks like a drain valve. Oh my god. Oh, you might have to actually do the thing now. Oh my god. No. Jenny. Uh, Jenny. <laughs> now the question is, how do you use it? Jenny. Uh... Talk to the fountain now? No. It says here, click on the second tree to the right of the fountain to use the valve and drain the fountain. Oh, the second tree? That's what it's talking about. That's that's the one over there. I know, but I did that. I do other trees, too. Uh, but specifically the second tree, because that's the one that has the plate. Why it doesn't seem to let you poke the button, I'm not sure. I want to poke the button. Uh. Hmm. It's got very, uh, kind of walk through heavy towards the end here, just because, like, 
Some of this stuff has been very unclear. That's not the dagger. Well, I know, man. I know you're trying stuff, trying but... Trying to open it up. Prying it open. Hmm. Alright, so... And oil the tree. <laughs> I'm going to statue the tree. Uh... I'm going to star plate the tree. Maybe... <laughs> maybe you don't actually know... Where's my rope? You used the rope on the door. Uh... Don't take it off? How stupid is that? <laughs> you just left it there, yeah. Look, Jennifer is not known for being strong, smart, or fast. She's known for being hunted by scissormen and stabbed. <laughs> Well, I don't know what to do now. Yeah, no, I'm with you, man. I'm trying. I am trying. Try harder. We're, we're working hard here. Because I'm honestly not sure what the problem here is. Um. Wait, I never went back to uh the room with the children. I, I got a dagger. Yeah, but I don't know if the dagger is for the children. <laughs> well, it said something about... Putting the copper book will free the children of the dead. Oh. Yeah, I guess, uh, what's-his-face's name thing might have said that. Uh, let's see. Go for it. Sister Man, you hmm. better not sew up. Hmm. Sister Man, you stay out of this. And dagger on Nolan. Or children. Hold on. No. Dang it, there goes my theory. Let's try talking to Nolan again. No, he's dead. Well, I'm, I'm out now. Yep. Uh. No idea. Is Nolan dead? So you're just yeah. still just boring. No, he's dead. Oh, he's dead? Yeah, I can't talk to him. Okay, he just doesn't want to talk. Maybe he's unconscious. Give him the dagger. No, I'm just kidding. I tried. <laughs> that uh, was the first thing I tried. So I think we're like super duper close to the ending here. Oh, man. Alright, I think... I think we'll pause the episode. No, do you want to pause the episode or come back next time? I don't know what to do, man. Okay, then we'll come back next time. We'll figure out what the heck to do. Because, god dang it, it is unclear. Resident Evil, this ain't.